Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for CAS plus CuCl2, calcium sulfide plus copper 2 chloride. First thing we need to do, balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. It's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Next, we'll write the states for each substance. That'll look like this. Calcium sulfide, that's a bit of a problem. It will hydrolyze with water, but we're just going to assume that it's aqueous and that this is the overall reaction. Chloride compounds, very soluble. And then this copper 2 sulfide, that's insoluble. So it will fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So these are the states in our reaction. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. Note that we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we're going to keep that together when we write this complete ionic equation. At this point, we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. In the reactants up here, I see we have a calcium ion. We also have that in the products. That's a spectator ion. Let's cross that out. And two chloride ions in the reactants and in the products. Those are spectator ions. We cross them out. What's left is the net ionic equation for CAS plus CuCl2. Let me clean this up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for CAS plus CuCl2. You'll note that charge is balanced. We have a 2 plus and a 2 minus. That adds up to 0, net charge of 0. This is a neutral compound, net charge of 0. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for calcium sulfide plus copper 2 chloride. Thanks for watching.